SQL introduction. First, what is SQL? SQL stands for Structured Query Language. SQL was initially developed at IBM Labs in 1970s. SQL is used to communicate with a database. According to ANSI, American National Standards Institute, it is the standard language for relational database management systems. Example, SQL Server, Oracle, Sybase, DB2, MySQL, etc. Next, who should learn SQL? <coughs> database developers, database testers, and uh, database administrators. Next important uh, topic, usage of SQL. SQL is used to create new databases. Next, uh, create new tables in a database, insert records in a database, update records in a database, delete records from a database, retrieve data from a database, to execute queries against a database, set permissions on tables, procedures and views. Next, Create stored procedures in a database. Create views in a database. These are the advantages of SQL. Next, what are the subsets of SQL? SQL has some subsets. Data definition language. Data manipulation language. Data control language. First, data definition language. A DDL, data definition language, is a language used to define data structures within a database. Important commands in DDL. Create command to create databases and database objects. Database objects means tables, records, etc. Next, alter to modify existing database object. Drop command to drop databases and database objects. Next, truncate command to remove all records from a database. Next, rename to rename database objects. Next language, data manipulation language. Here important commands, select command to select specify a specific data from a database. To select specific data from a database. This select command is very very important for database testers. Insert to insert new records in a table. Next, update command to update existing records. Delete command to delete existing records from a table. Next, data control language. Here, important commands. Grant command to provide access on the database objects to users. To provide access on the database objects to the users. Next, revoke command to remove user access rights to the database objects. Next, dene command to dene permissions to users. See, these are the important subsets of SQL. Thank you.